Hey guys, even here, a long time no see, actually no here. I know it's been a while since I made a video, I took a little break. It's strange that it happened around the same time when Trigili's channel got terminated. I don't know how many of you guys were fans of his channel and I don't know if he's ever gonna come back, but one thing is for sure, I am definitely back and I will be pushing the content, I will be killing it from now on until who knows when, because I just competed and that is the reason why I took this little break and I won't be competing for another probably two years. I wanna take a little break from competing and actually focus on growing in my off season and then when I compete next, I will be chasing the pro card, I won't be doing the smaller divisions anymore, when I feel I'm ready for the classic physique pro card, that's when I'm gonna compete next, but it's gonna be at least two years until that, so right now, until then, my main focus is going to be YouTube, so let's start with this video guys, we have a lot of interesting topics, a lot of topics that I missed in the past month, but let's go from what is happening right now, what is current, and it is Nick Walker first, with his most recent physique update, in which he looks absolutely ridiculously massive. Before I continue talking about Nick Walker, I wanna go back to my physique, and as you guys can see, I was pretty shredded on that stage. How did I get shredded? I mean, I did a lot of stuff, but one of the things I did was I was taking Samir Banut Lava 196. Now, a lot of you guys will say that natural fat burners don't really work, and I don't know if it works or it doesn't, but I was taking it every time before I did cardio. It definitely gave me energy, it has a little bit of caffeine and a lot of plant extracts, so whatever it was doing, I'm not sure, I definitely did get shredded and I used this without any other harder, you know, stronger fat burners, I didn't use any of that, I just used this and I honestly believe it helped me, so I wanted to share it with you guys, I wouldn't really advertise fat burners before, but right now I just have experience with it and I think I like it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep using it, and if you guys wanna try it, you can use it by clicking on the link down below, and if you use a code EVAN, just EVAN, it's gonna give me a little bit, so if you wanna help me out, help this channel out, just buy any of the supplements and use the code EVAN, the link is down below once again, thank you guys, let's proceed. It's actually crazy that this photo was taken after he trained legs. So his upper body is still looking super big and super full, even though all the blood, I'm sure, is in his legs. So this guy is definitely growing. This guy is definitely gonna bring crazy fullness to that Mr. Olympia stage later in the year, which is basically what he missed at the Arnold, where he came in super conditioned, but he lacked fullness, especially in the legs. And here, his legs are also looking much bigger, much rounder. For sure, yeah, they're pumped. So they are definitely looking bigger than they would if they weren't pumped, but still, you can still see that his legs are, they have more muscle, it's not just blood. And you can see that his stance is closer, uh, as uh, uh, Samir Banuti in the comment section points, and that also kind of makes his legs look bigger and rounder when he keeps his feet closer like this. It makes his adductors bigger, but he doesn't have a problem with the adductors, really. He does have a problem, though, with lateral head, and right here in this photo, his legs definitely do look sweepier, he does look better overall. Another very interesting thing I noticed, and I could be wrong with this one, it could be just the fact that it's his off-season and his physique looks different when it is a little bit chubby, but I think his arms are kind of matching his physique more right now. Like, Nick Walker is somebody who is really known for arms, and his arms are really giving him that freak factor, and they're really enhancing his physique. But sometimes they're drawing a little bit too much attention from the rest of his physique, which is also really outstanding. And in this photo right here, I don't think his arms are, like, drawing that much attention. I think they are just flowing well with everything else. And I do not think that his arms got smaller, I definitely don't think that, I'm not saying that, what I'm thinking is maybe his physique overall is more balanced now. Especially now that he's working with Matt Jensen, and Matt was kind of known for holding Nick back a little, which is something his previous coach, Nick's previous coach, that worked with him in the offseason, Dom Super Sliced, wasn't really able to do. I think Nick trained his arms a little bit too much, wanted to have really one standout body part, to be remembered as one of the guys with freakiest arms, and also to have that crazy freak factor on the stage, which is valid, but I think he will do better if his arms are more balanced, if his physique is more symmetrical, 
And I think he's kind of accomplishing that. Like, his legs are growing, and the rest of his body is also growing, but his arms are just taking it a little bit easier, which I think is the right strategy for Nick, for sure. And if he brings the fullness in the end of the year and good conditioning, I mean, he can win the Mr. Olympia, man, for sure. All right, the next topic is interesting. It's definitely interesting. I think it's been like, I don't know, a year, maybe, since we saw any kind of physique update from our 7 time 212 Mr. Olympia champion Flex Lewis and this is the first time we can see his physique and what it looks like and I mean here he's standing next to Eddie Hall uh, and you can't really see Eddie Hall in this photo but you can see that he's much taller than him and he kind of dwarfs Flex Lewis so I don't think he's this small really you're gonna see a video in a second in which you can see how big he actually is and how lean he is and considering the fact that he hasn't really been competing for the past five years 2018 Olympia was his last show I believe so about five years he hasn't been competing he was retired at first not officially and then I think like it's been two years since he officially retired so considering all that he actually looks very good now, of course, he doesn't look nearly as good as he looked when he was active, when he was at his heyday. But right now, considering everything, he's good, man. I mean, look at this video. Flex Lewis did not get fat. He did not get chubby. Not one bit. Look at that midsection. Look at that stomach. I mean, it's really lean, right? I mean, it's really flat and lean and like he looks good. He definitely looks much bigger in this video than he does in that photo. So as you can see, his arms are still massive, I mean, he, he still has everything, really, shoulders, chest, just overall, he's not as big as he was before, but I don't know, his conditioning is very, very good as well. So he actually looks really good five years after his last show in his retirement. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Pittsburgh Pro guest posing is approaching, and I believe Nick Walker is one of those guest posers, also Hunter Labrada. And Samson Dauda, as you can see right here, is one of those guys who are doing this guest posing. And as you can see, right now, Samson looks amazing. I mean, he looks massive. His conditioning is still good. It's not so ready, for sure. But he's also not super deep in the offseason. From what I heard from Fuad in a podcast recently, is that he has been completely off since the Arnold Classic. Now, I don't know if he started doing something right now, these days, these past couple of days or weeks, but, I mean, he looks good. I don't know, it's crazy to believe that he was off for so long. I actually DM'd Milo Sharchev, uh, Samson's coach, to ask him if this is really true, and if he's, if he's still off in this photo right here. Milos didn't see the message yet, so I can't confirm it, uh, it's probably the time difference, I don't know what time is it right now in the US, but even if he started using something in the past week or two or three, he still does look really crazy for somebody who has been off for at least like eight weeks. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that Samson is still doing this kind of stuff, like that he's actually completely, that he is going completely off. It's really rare to hear this from bodybuilders these days. Everybody is pretty much just blasting and cruising. And after the contest, most of them are just blasting, you know, because it's a good time to, to progress, to make a rebound. And Samson apparently decided to go completely off, which is definitely the healthiest round. And which tells me that this guy is going to last in this game for a long time. And you can see it already, I mean, he's like in his mid to late 30s right now when his body is flourishing at this point, which kind of sends a message that he, that he was actually taking it easy, that he was taking it slow until that point, that he was smart and conservative and he was really patient. And if he keeps that mindset, he's gonna be up there for a long time. And it's only a matter of time when this guy is gonna... I think he actually has a really good chance of becoming the Mr. Olympia this year. I mean, is it gonna be Hadi? Or is somebody gonna take over? If somebody is gonna take over, who would be the best representation of bodybuilding today? I think that's Samson. I mean, tall guy, small waist, beautiful lines, beautiful physique, crazy aesthetics, with a ton of mass, 300 freaking pounds on stage, the biggest guy up there for sure. I think this guy is the favorite, really. 
I think it's between him and Derek for this year's Mr. Olympia, but we'll see. First, I want to see him at the Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing uh, stage, which is not going to tell us anything, really. I'm sure he, I'm sure the other guys are not off. They're going to be doing that guest posing, and Samson has been, at least, uh, for a long time. So, he still managed to look very, very good, even considering that. But, that means another thing as well. That means he's going to look that much better at the Olympia because his receptors are fresh, his body is healthy, so yeah, yeah, I'm rooting for this guy, honestly, I want to see him win the Olympia, him or Nick Walker, those are my favorite guys as far as personality, and also combination of physique and personality, I would prefer them over Hadi and Derek, personally, whatever you guys think, whoever you want to see win, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section let's talk about bodybuilding it's been a while guys since i've been doing these kind of videos and going over these kind of topics i was missing this honestly i'm so happy i'm back here and i want to hear your thoughts i want to converse with you in the comment section down below make sure to leave the comment on whatever topic you found the most interesting subscribe to the channel guys if you haven't already and also go to the old school labs and check out all the amazing supplements and use the code ivan Thank you guys so much, all the best, see you soon and bye bye.